Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to construct a table of values to investigate the limit of a function. So let's have example number 1. Evaluate the limit of 1 plus 3x as x approaches positive 2. So in this case guys, uh, we have uh, two ways how to approach positive 2. So, una, pwede natin, uh, pwede tayo mag-approach kay positive 2 from its left. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin from the left of 2, ibig sabihin, dun tayo sa mga mas mawababang value ni 2. Example, mag start tayo kay 0, followed by 1, then 1.5, then we have 1.9, then 1.99, and 1.999. So, dito, uh, iti-check natin ano yung magiging f of x natin as x approaches positive 2 from the left. Okay? So, try natin i-substitute yung mga values ng x dito sa ating function. So, example, we have x equals 0. So, 1 plus 3 times 0, that is positive 1. Then we have uh, 1 plus 3 times 1. This is positive 4. Then kung isa-substitute naman natin si 1.5 kay x, that is 5.5. Then if we have 1.9, pag sinabstitute natin this sa x natin, sa function na 1 plus 3x, that is 6.7. Then we have 1.99 times 3. Then, plus 1, this is 6.97. Then, pag sinabstitute natin si 1.999 dito sa ating function, this will give us 6.997. So, kung i-observe natin yung ating uh, function, as x approaches positive 2 from the left, yung f of x natin approaches positive 7. Tama? Habang lumalapit yung value ng x natin kay 2, yung f of x natin is lumalapit din kay positive 7. Okay? So, try naman natin from the right of positive 2. So, pag sinabi natin uh, from the right, ito yung mga values na mas, na mas mataas kay positive 2. Example, start tayo kay 4. Then, followed by 3. Then 2.5, then we have 2.1, then 2.01, then 2.001. Okay, so dito guys, uh, uh, yung mga kinuha natin values dito is papunta kay positive 2. So check natin ano ngayon yung magiging f of x natin as x approaches positive 2 from the right. So, substitute natin yung mga values ng x sa function natin na 1 plus 3x. So, dito we have 4 times 3. We have 12 plus 1. This is 13. Next, we have 3 times 3. That's 9 plus 1. We have 10. Then, 2.5 times 3 plus 1. That is 8.5. Then we have 2.1 times 3 plus 1, that is 7.3. Next, we have 2.01 times 3, then plus 1, this will give us 7.03. Then 2.001 times 3 plus 1, this will give us 7.003. So, kung iti-check nyo guys, as x approaches positive 2 from its right, the f of x approaches positive 7. Okay, so habang lumalapit tayo guys, kay positive 2, yung x natin, yung ating f of x is papunta rin siya kay positive 7 or lumalapit din kay positive 7. So since parehas approaching yung ating uh, table kay positive 7. No? So, kung mapansin nyo, from the left, approaching tayo kay positive 7. Then, from the right, yung f of x natin is papunta rin kay positive 7. So, therefore, the limit of the function 1 plus 3x as x approaches positive 2 
is 7. Okay? Nakuha ba guys? Next, let's have example number 2. So, find the limit of x square plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So, again, uh, we have two ways how to approach negative 1. Ang una is from the left or yung mga magsisimula tayo din sa mas mababang values ni negative 1. Then, pangalawa, we have from the right kung saan mag start tayo din sa mga mas matataas na values kaysa kay negative 1. So, unahin natin yung from the left. So, let's say nag-start tayo kay negative 2. Then, papunta tayo kay negative 1. So, that is negative 2. Then, negative 1.5. Followed by negative 1.1. Negative 1.01. And negative 1.001. So, make sure guys na ano ah. Uh, yung values ng x natin dito is approaching uh, negative 1. Okay. Then, after natin ma-identify uh, ma yung mga values ng x natin, isa-substitute natin yan, guys, dito sa ating f of x. Okay, so let's start with negative 2 square, that is positive 4, plus 1, that is 5. Next is negative 1.5 square, plus 1, that is 3.25. Then, negative 1.1 square plus 1, we have 2.21. Then, negative 1.01 square plus 1, that is 2.0201. Then, last natin, negative 1.001 square plus 1, that is 2.002. Okay, so kung ma-observe nyo dito guys, as x approaches negative 1 from its left, the f of x approaches positive 2. Okay, so habang lumalapit tayo kay negative 1 from its left, yung ating f of x is lumalapit din kay positive 2. Next is yung from the right. So yung from the right natin, ito yung mag start tayo sa mas mataas kay negative 1. So let's say we have 0. Followed by negative 0 0.5. Then we have negative 0 0.9. Negative 0 0.99. Then we have negative 0 0.999. Okay? So try natin i-check kung ano yung ating magiging f of x as x approaches negative 1 from its right. So we have 0 square plus 1, that is positive 1. Negative 0 0.5 square plus 1, that is 1.25. Negative 0 0.9 square plus 1, we have 1.81. Then negative 0 0.99 square plus 1, that is 1.9801. Then negative 0 0.999 square plus 1, that is 1.998001. Okay? So, observe natin guys. So, as x approaches negative 1 from the right, the f of x approaches positive 2. Okay? So, kung mapansin nyo, habang lumalapit tayo kay negative 1, yung f of x natin is lumalapit kay positive 2. Which is the same dun sa ating from the left. Okay, so, yung from the left natin is also approaching positive 2. So, therefore, the limit of x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative 1 is equal to positive 2. Okay? Nakuha ba guys? So, let's have another example. Number 3. Find the limit of x squared minus 5x plus 4 all over x minus 1 as x approaches positive 1. Okay, so again, so kuha tayo ng, num ng values of x from the left. So start tayo kay 0 followed by 0 0.5 followed by 0 0.9 and 0 0.99. Okay? Then, isa-substitute natin yan, guys, dito sa ating f of x. 
So, lahat ng variable x natin dito is magiging 0. So, pag sinubstitute natin yan, ang ating f of x is equivalent to negative 4. Okay? Next, substitute natin yung negative, ah, yung ating 0 0.5. This will give us negative 3.5. So, sa part na to guys, pwede kayong gumamit ng calculator, no? So, para mas mabilis yung computation nyo ng ating f of x. So, isa-substitute nyo lang naman, guys, yung mga values ng ating x doon sa ating function para makuha yung values ng ating f of x. So, next, we have 0 0.9. This is negative 3.1. Then, 0 0.99. This is negative 3.01. Okay, so as x approaches positive 1 from the left, the f of x approaches positive, uh, negative 3. Okay, so again, habang lumalapit tayo kay positive 1, yung ating f of x is lumalapit din kay negative 3. So check natin kung parehas ba sila ng ano, pinupuntahan dun sa from the right. Okay, so kung from the right tayo dito, Ang values ng x natin is pwedeng mag-start kay 2, followed by 1.5, 1.1, then 1.01. Guys, pagka nag-assign kayo ng values of x, make sure na approaching kayo doon kung saan tayo, uh, kung saan yung given. No? So dito as x approaches positive 1, so make sure na yung values ng x natin, natin is approaching positive 1. Okay? So, substitute natin yan guys to solve for the f of x. So, for, uh, for x equals 2, ang ating f of x nyan is, is equal to negative 2. Then, if x is 1.5, that is um, negative 2.5. Then, if x is 1.1, we have negative 2.9. Then, if we have 1.01, the values of f f of x is equal to negative 2.99. Okay? So, in our case, as x approaches positive 1 from its right, the f of x approaching, uh, approaches uh, negative 3 then. Okay? So, since parehas yung ating from the left and from the right na approaching kay negative 3, so therefore, the limit of x squared minus 5x plus 4 all over x minus 1 as x approaches positive 1 is negative 3. Okay guys. So next, let's have example number 4. So investigate the limit of a function as x approaches uh, positive 4. If f of x is x plus 1, if x is less than 4 and f of x is x minus 4 square plus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 4. Okay? So, almost the same lang to guys nung ating mga example kanina. So, dito, kung from the left, magsisimula yung ating x, ang gagamitin nating function is yung x plus 1. Okay? Kasi yung mga values natin doon is x less than 4. Then, kung mag start naman tayo from the right of uh, positive 4, ang gagamitin lang natin function is yung x minus 4 square plus 3. Since yung mga values ng x natin is greater than or equal to 4. Okay? So, assign tayo ng mga values to investigate the limit of the function. So, from the left of 4, start tayo kay 3, followed by 3.5. 3.9, then 3.99. Okay? Then, solving for the f of x, as x approaches a uh, positive 4 from its left, we have 3 plus 1, this is 4. 3.5, that is 4.5. 3.9 plus 1, we have 4.9. Then, 3.99 plus 1, we have 4.99. Okay? So, kung yo observe natin dito, as x approaches positive 4 from the left, the f of x approaches positive 5. Okay? So, check natin kung same ba sila ng ano, uh, pinupuntahan, no? So, try natin dun sa from the right. 
So, kung from the right, mag-start tayo nyo sa mga uh, values of x which is greater than uh, 4. So, let's say we have 5 followed by 4.5, then 4.1, then 4.01. Okay, so try natin solve yung ating f of x as x approaches a uh, positive 4 from its right. So, 5 minus 4, that is 1, then square, 1, then plus 3, that is equivalent to positive 4. Then, kung 4.5 naman yung ating x, so we have 4.5 minus 4 square plus 3, that is 3.25. Next is 4.1 minus 4 square, then plus 3, that is 3.01. Then, 4.1 uh, minus 4 square plus 3, that is 3.01. 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? So, kung you observe nyo dito, guys, as x approaches a uh, positive 4 from the right, the f of x approaches positive 3. Okay? So, as you can see, guys, uh, yung from the left natin is approaching positive 5. Then, yung ating from the right is approaching positive 3, which is not equal Okay, hindi sila pareho. So, therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches positive 4 does not exist. Okay, pag sinabi natin DNE does not exist. Okay, so, in this case, yung limit natin is hindi nage-exist. Naintindihan ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!